All right, this screencast is to show you how to take your data from a to a table, as we created before, and graph it, um, because sometimes the numbers don't tell the story as well as a picture, and a graph has a way of telling the story of numbers with pictures. So um, I'm actually going to start with this one. This is the raw data. Um, anything I do with this, you could probably jump down and do it with this one where I change the raw data into percentages. We're going to start with this one. And one thing that you can do really easily is you can turn this into a chart. So um, I'm going to actually take a look at this data here, um, the have a curfew data. And this is going to easily turn into a pie chart. So I'm going to click on chart, as I just did, and I'm going to select the type of chart that I want. And um, I'm going to actually choose a pie chart for this one. Um, let's look at more. Let's go with a pie chart. And you can get really fancy with it. Probably no need for anyone to be doing a donut chart, but 3D tends to be popular. I'm kind of boring. I'm going to just go with a standard pie chart. And the cool thing about a pie chart is it churns your raw data into percentages for you because a pie chart, the entire circle represents 100%. Now I just need to tinker with it. Got a great pie chart going here. So I'm going to customize it a bit. And I'm going to give it a title. And let me remind myself what I was talking about here. Um, oh. Uh, my title is going to be um, chores or no chores for eighth graders with curfews. Really important that I'm clear on what this one is actually about. Chores or no chores for eighth graders with curfews. Um, I can get fancy with it, I can change its color, there we go, um, all kinds of craziness there. Uh, I have my slices as percentages, I could change those to actually raw data if I wanted to, I could turn to value, um, but I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and then I have slice one, I want to actually give this a title, uh, or actually, I can, I'm sorry, slice one, I can change the color there, I could go with more pink if I want. I can go to slice two. I can change its color. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit uh, green. It's a really ugly chart, but I'm going to go with that. Um, right now, uh, I do have a legend. Legend is right there. Um, I don't want it labeled. I want no legend at all. Um, and there's most of my chart. What am I missing? Well, here's the problem. I don't know what this represents or what this represents um, just by looking at the chart. So what I would need to do is I would need to insert some um, description of those things. Uh, there's more than one way to do that. Um, one, one thing I could do is I could simply type it in later on. I could type it in and insert it, maybe type it in on a piece of paper, cut it out, and draw an arrow to this. That would be fine. Another way to do it is I can go back to my start and I can go to my selected range. And from that, um, I'm actually going to delete this. I could have selected this. Um, let's see what happens then. Uh, notice this, have chores at home, don't have chores at home. That shows up here. So what I'm going to do then is when I go to my customize, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my legend back in, uh, labeled. There we go. I like that. Um, and you know, I'm gonna, since it's already there, I'm going to take that off. Now we know what those stand for. So the way I did that, again, I went back to my start. I clicked here to select my data. And I selected all of this. So it put these in to represent what I'm actually talking about. Now my next step would be to do a similar, I would, I would save this graph, I would go ahead and insert it maybe, move it out of the way, and then I do a similar graph 
for the other part of it. This was for eighth graders with curfews. I can go over to this column. I do it with the ones that don't have curfews. So then we'd have the two pie charts next to each other to compare. I could have created a bar graph as well, but pie charts work pretty well for this, and they're really demonstrative of what's going on. Print those out. They go on my statistics poster. I'm looking great. There you go.